so um, I've just added a uh, woodshed here, but I'm kind of wondering that uh, we're going to see if we can add another one. Do two of them. Because we want to ramp up the production of both stones and um, wood, limestone, oh, well, whatever you can think of. Oh crap, did I forget the logs? Okay, I'll go get those. That was kind of stupid. And if you're wondering why I'm always walking like sideways, it's due to the fact that walking like, straight forward and being uh, over encumbered is a lot slower than the strafing. I never tried this, but I would assume that this is gonna work. Um, yeah, we definitely need to add the excavation sheds over here. You know what? Let's just do that right away. Let's add a... Um, I don't want to be too close to the mine, because I believe we can get... Um, like a... Um, mining building as well. So I need a couple more logs. And we should be good, I believe. Man, I do enjoy actually being able to carry a lot more stuff. Also, Mr. Donkey got an upgrade um got some skill points so um did him a favor and actually added those to uh, the mule one so we can actually carry 15 kilos more no actually it was carrot and sticks i added it to carrot and sticks uh which actually increase it to 20 kilos so next one we will get 30. So I hope that will do quite a difference as well. I haven't checked the saddlebag, but it, yeah, it says 50 kilos now. I think it was 30 before, so that... Uh, adds up. Come on. Okay. Excavation shed. The two of those. We got the excavation shed over there as well. I mean, we should actually. I am being a pain now. So we are doing this. And uh, we're actually adding another one here. And as you could see there. Under extraction. We had the mine. So we are far away from that. But, um. I'd rather be a bit prepared and uh, try to build thinking ahead for once, which hasn't been my strong point so far. Then we're going to move the miners over to the uh, buildings down here. The miners and the woodcutters, move them over here. And it will be fairly close to the workplace. Um, so let's go to management. We have excavation shed here. We have two guys working there. And we are going to move them um, to the 
this one. So let's grab that one. This one. And those guys are moved over here. We just need to. We're gonna go up here and actually get our shit back. There's no point in having another one up here that. Um, it's gonna cost us a lot of money, and I think two. Sh of these guys are going to be enough. At least for now. If we need a third one, we'll put up a third one down there as well. Uh, but in the long run, one is going to be enough for us. We just need to boost the production right now. So. That's why I'm going a bit back and forth there. But as I said earlier as well, I am not completely pleased with what I did here. Uh, most of that is not because well, I did fuck up, but it's not because I was being a moron. It was like I noticed how much money we made on linen. That kind of changed my plans here. Because we definitely want to make money here you're gonna be the ruler of this land even if that big cat over there in the Geostovia uh, is the actual ruler here we definitely gonna outperform him with both money and the uh, pies so I guess we can just add these now we don't need them I'm not sure why I'm running around with the stone knives and all that stuff still. I really should just start getting some better tools in my hands. But okay, it is what it is. I am a cheap bastard. I know that. Um, it is quite stupid. Copper hammer is going down as well. But if, this, if it's not in this episode, uh, it will definitely be in the next one. We are definitely going to do some mining. We want to get that stuff running now. Um, so let's go back over here. I'm not going to build anything right now. I'm just going to plan things out. I think we want to keep both woodsheds here for like forever. Because we're going to need firewood regardless. I mean, that's something we can't get away from. Um... So we might tear one of these down and keep the last one. Because uh, whenever we're starting to get to the finish state of the village, we're not going to use that much stone anymore. Oh my god, I forgot one thing. These guys need actually to do something, right? Let's go in here and uh, yeah. Uh, no, you don't need to do... I think we're just going to ramp up the stone on this one let's go full on that one and uh, this one let's we don't have people there but let's just prepare it so else I'm just gonna forget that shit so let's go full limestone on that one and then we can change over to clay and stone uh, no clay and copper if you want to or even straws, if that was the case. Um, with the woodshed, these guys, whoever's gonna work here, it's just gonna go rampage on the log and deforest the whole frigging map, which is kind of something I like in this game. If you chop down on the trees, you're just gonna deforest everything. But if you add people to workstations like this, uh, you, you can't see it on the map. Because they just chop down magic trees. And whatever you see in the game aren't affected by that. Okay, so we got uh, those two running 100% of 
logs. We got the excavation shed. I'm just double checking in 100% there on. What was it? On limestone. And the ones that is actually active is running 100% on stone. That's perfect. That's how we want it. Uh, the hunting. Check that one. <clears throat> Could add the insulation on this one, I guess. Uh, that's doing 100% meat. Should get four in total every day. It's okay. Um, no tool. Oh. Uh, damn. I need a driving license on this donkey. Just saying. Crashed a couple of times with uh, poor Mr. Donkey here. I should actually name him as well. I'm not sure what to call him though. Got a good idea. Uh, just drop a comment in the comment section. I guess Mr. Donkey is not a proper name for our faithful little guy there. So there's two things we need to get down here as well. I'm just gonna add them for now. Because uh, this is going to be definitely the workplace or, or the work part of the town. I, I don't think I want it inside there. At least not yet. Maybe we can move stuff later on. Uh, right now I just want to, you know, try to clean things up and see where we go from there. So I think we're going to add the smithy here. Kind of makes sense, right? You got the excavation shed, you have the mine, and you will have the smithy next to it. Uh, also, it's if you're holding things out of the mine, you can just drop it in the chest here, which will make a lot of sense. Um, what else do we got? It's like starting over again, guys. I, I think this is kind of fun. You guys probably hate it by now. Um, we need to add the well, by the way, as well. I'm just talking. I'm rambling right now. I feel that. I think... Yeah, we need the sewing hut. Yes. Because that's our money maker. Uh, and the kitchen. The, the kitchen we might actually have inside the town. I think that could be pretty nice, to be honest. Do we have the sewing hut here in the front? Let's just put it like this. A bit sideways. Yeah, I think I, think I want that. Probably going to change it later again, because I seem to be clueless of what I'm doing here. So let's check out this. There's actually some loot here. I know I've been showing you guys on the map where everything is, and uh, I, I, I'm most likely going to continue doing that. But it's not like you're going to be able to find that stuff whenever you guys log into the game. 63 coins, some salt and salted meat, yeah. All good for that. Um, because it seems like these things kind of spawn whenever. But depending on the season, most likely your game as well. So I, I don't think these things here is going to be like something you might find at all. The, the buildings like up here where you have the bandit camp, that is probably something you're going to find regardless. Yeah, I don't see anything else here. And that one we did empty. And if we actually looted everything, it should despawn later on. I do like things popping up like this. Oh yeah, this guy is hungry as well. I'm neglecting these guys so badly. Yeah, he got he wants some food as well, I guess. Uh, good thing we found some salted meat though, you can eat that. Also, um, as long as you don't finish any buildings, like you just put them up like this, you don't pay tax for it. If you add the foundation on the other hand, you are actually starting to use the land and you will have to pay tax for it. Now, the last part of our management is going to be to see if we actually have anyone not doing anything. We got this chick. He's not doing anything. Uh, 
and let's see if we can find her and see what she likes to be honest let's give her the choice of what she want to do i think she was a woodcutter wasn't she i think it's actually hunting so you know what let's just put her on herbalist hut What do we want to do there? Let's do that. Uh, start with this one. Let's just run 50% on that one. Uh, let me check here again. Was it? Yeah, it's two, two of those. So we are going to run 66% on this one. And we're gonna run the rest on this one. And we can actually make some healing potions. And let's add her. It's actually the fishing thing, okay. Uh, oh well, it is what it is. Um, the sound of leaves reminds me of well, Ostovia. Took me a few to actually find the camp here. So let's see if we got some good people here. Um, just before we do that, let's see, we got um, one, two, three, four females. One, two, three, four males. So that should be like a pair in each house then. Yeah. And uh, we got uh, four houses left. I think one of them is the old, yeah. So three houses. So that's six people you can recruit. Now, if any one of these guys are actually worthwhile, I have no clue. I just arrived. Took my ages to run around and actually find the camp outside here. It's... So yeah, it's quite the shit shitty. They did have some sheeps over here, though. So we uh, know where to find those. So what did we want, then? Um, we want woodcutters, right? So that's production. Um, which should be this one, right? Yeah. We got four farmers, that's good enough. So we need production for the woodcutters and we need production for sewing and blacksmith. So actually what we are looking for right now is four people with good productions. Uh, she got two. Have you ever wondered what a world okay, so Dalabera here is definitely a good one he's got three this actually seems to be quest thingy Everything's perfect. Um, do that for later I guess I really don't feel like questing right now I just want to get Hello? Are all very well, but I oh, she's 29 oh my how old is he 26. Okay, I, I could pick those two. How is life treating? See you around. Uh, he actually has two, so I guess those two could actually work together. Oh, it's you again. Um, I wish to make our ports and settlement coexist in harmony. I see hunting not only as a source of food but a way to preserve balance in the wild. Uh, Firecraft's woman knows how to cook her food well too. You know that. You know what? You're not gonna be cooking or picking frigging flowers. I'm gonna grab her. And she's gonna do the quite opposite of what she wishes for right now. Oh, Maybe I'll again. start. I've been sober since last autumn. Crafting never ends, the need for various resources is growing on and on. That's one for me. I like to stay up about okay. Okay, uh, uh, let's just grab him as well. Give these guys a house. You guys are gonna live together now. And uh, hopefully some romance will actually appear. And uh, 
you can have some kids as well. So the thing is, like, if you have people with high skills, like, as I understand it, I may be completely wrong here now, but as I understand it, if you have, like, a female and a male who are badass at farming, and they get a kid, you will actually have a kid with really good farming skills. Um... Might have misunderstood the game but that's how i'm getting it also in the valley you can actually find super npcs or whatever you want to call it they actually have a skill level at six which is quite insane they removed it from the oxbow map unfortunately because oxbow seems to be more co-op oriented so playing single their game in oxbow is a bit harder from my understanding um, which is, I'm quite fine with. Uh, I kind of like the challenge anyways. So, hey, who cares? Assign apprentice. You can only do that with kids. That's why it's not working. Uh, whenever a kid is, I think, turns 14, he can work as a, an apprentice, and you can level up his skill level. He will not produce anything more. So you won't gain anything out of it, except for actually having someone with good skills whenever he grows up. So, yeah. Uh, and we got the second wood shot. Uh, that one is gonna work there. Now we got the sewing, and I think we want to get one from for the blacksmith as well. Just so we got shit running, you know. Probably a bit of waste of resources, but I mean we can use some part of the stuff as well. Uh, we got a three farmer, three miner. He was 24 years old. I'm, I'm a, I don't want to pick him because I was hoping we could get the mining building running. Um. Oh, it's you again. So long. You know what? Oh, it's you again. We can fire him right. if we don't like him. I don't care. It's not my problem. So let's put him in here, Mr. Tomir. And I'm going from here over to Skauki. Then I probably will go from here over to our old village and actually fill our water buckets. Maybe do some hunting as well, because right now we are running low on meat, water and everything. And I'm not sure if our hunter is producing enough up here. We don't have a well running either. So I think I'll just take the route over here and then up to our old camp, check Piastovia as well, and then back home. And uh, I'll uh, see you guys in a few, I guess. Oh. Skauki. It's been um, an interesting ride. I can hardly see anything. And I've been listening to wolves and um, all kind of animals. Um, riding through the dark forest. So yeah, it's been a cozy little ride. Now let's see if we got anything out of interest here. We definitely don't need tons of people right now, but I, as I said earlier, I'd rather just try to get helpful. Sometimes I've got a feeling the whole world freezes um, for a moment, as if somebody paused. Right now, and. Uh, people ready to go whenever we can just put him on doing bullshit I get a that the so this guy is i mean we could how old is he how can i help you 19 Have a nice day. no we hired one guy he was 24 right so we need a female companion from him uh, let's just double check here yeah he's 24 uh She's actually good at production, oh, and she's 23. Again. We'll work for food and water and some firewood. Well, just and a roof over my head, of course. Yeah, just produce a lot of kids, yeah. and you're actually to good to go. Uh, everyone sees me sees me as quite gently, but on the contrary, I'm quite handy with the hatchet and pickaxe, and yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, once I found a snake in my shoe. Guess you're they in then. And she's gonna move in uh, here. Uh, 
and we have 15 1800 points i'm not sure if that's good enough for two more but uh this guy kind of looks promising how is life 20 see you soon how are you Heaven oh she was 26 okay hello goodbye <laughs> how are you goodbye He's got good mining, good farming, he's kind of okay on hunting, on diplomacy, and production. Like Myself included. You know what, let's save the last one for now. We got two more people who has no work. But we have the sewing hut, we have the blacksmith left. Uh, there is nothing like the... <laughs> Good. Hello. You're 20. Get in. And that's how we played. It's a really fucking confused gamer, right? And get in there. Now, that's one thing I'm actually thinking about before we leave here. I could need some sticks and straws. Um, Travels are I'm not sure if they... Yeah, we got straws here. I think I'm going to do some mining while we're here. Because if I don't remember wrong, these guys actually have a mining building running here. If I don't remember or recall wrong, I'm, I might be really off now. But I do believe that... Get iron, you need to actually build the mine. Which we don't have so yet far. I am getting a bit fed up, to be honest, with um our stolen tools. So I think we're just gonna have a look in here. I'm not sure where to actually go here. Oh, iron. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so... I think I added... Int. Yeah, no, I got it on me. So that's fine. Um... My tents don't pick axes. I actually made... 20, I believe, because I gave some to the people in the village as well. So I kind of was planning to do some mining and had the idea that these guys actually had something going on. Let's grab the tin as well. Not gonna bother about the salt. Because we can do tin and the copper and get bronze. Which is quite decent tools as well. It kind of feels like it's time to stop using all that bullshit tools we are using. It's time to actually get an upgrade. Considering Mr. Donkey here got himself a bit of an upgrade. Um, he can carry quite a lot of stuff for us. Oh, another item. In. Upper. Iron. Did we just get to the sweet point spot in this cave? Salt, iron. The reason I'm focusing is seeing on only iron right now is because we can get tin and copper in all the other caves. Easy. Uh, okay. But which 
direction did we... Oh, we came from this place. Okay, let's go down here and see if we missed anything. I don't... Copper. And salt. Okay. So let's grab the copper here then. Something hiding there. What is that? Oh, iron. That sneaky little bastard was trying to hide, eh? Now, I do believe... And I would assume... Okay, sorry. I'm getting like, distracted here. I'm finding new iron. Uh, I think these will be uh, respawned when a new season comes around. So whenever you depleted a... Uh, oh, man. Oh, damn. Um, whenever a new season starts, you can just run back in and take everything out again. You know what? I'm happy with that. Such a asshole, you know? But I can't resist, you know? I'm definitely not gonna let that go to waste. That's good tools. Just whistle for him and he should be coming out. Hello, Mr. Donkey. We did some good <laughs> shit here. Yeah. I'm over encumbered. You're over encumbered. Pretty much. Yes, it's. Oh, Jesus. I need to actually change to third person. So, I guess we're going uh, like back to our starter village then. I really want to loot that house, but I kind of thought I heard a bear over there while going over tonight, uh, last night. So, uh, we need to get some better picking weapons and stuff. Bandit camp, you know what? I would love to fight you guys. But I got so much stuff now, I can't carry your loot. So, you just have to wait. It would be fun to go watch and check out that cave over there as well, but there's a freaking bear, you know? We need to get our shit together here. The memories, guys. The memories. Our village are pretty much in ruins here soon. We had fields over here, foraging. With greenery. Our farm animals hopefully are still alive. Well, at least our pigs are. Mrs. Donkey is there. I think she's waiting for you, dude. Yeah, she definitely misses you. Oh man, we need to get these guys home. So, um. Oh, I removed the smithy. Okay. So I guess we won't be able to make any tools here. So let's drop everything off then. 26 copper and we borrowed 3, so that's 29. We borrowed a couple of copper hammers. I guess we can drop one there. I mean, I did leave one in return though. Bronze pickaxe, I mean. Yes, sir. Uh, 34 iron, borrowed one, so that's 35. Uh, you know what? Let's just drop those there. We got 17 tin ores. Uh, Mr. Donkey here should have some stuff as well. Another 15. Another 8. Another 21. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is good stuff, guys. I'm gonna probably leave you guys here for a few and actually go out and do some hunting. Um, because we are running really, really low on meat. Uh, we are, on the other hand, because I'm a cheap bastard, I'm gonna collect the manure here. I mean, why not? I'm still dirty as fuck, so let's get this shit running here. I'm not sure how all the 
food is... Okay, they got 20% left. So we can keep them here for a little while. Um, get things set up on the uh, new place. I did read that some people actually claimed that wolves and stuff had actually taken some chickens and things like that. So I think we need to kind of fence things off a bit. I'm just checking the food supply here. That was 20 as well. 33. And 44. Yeah, yeah. These guys can stay here. Uh, most likely over the winter. Got 80 manure as well. That's nice. Um, I need some food. I need some water. And I need to... Get some meat running. I'm eating carrots, guys, to survive now. That's how rigging poor we are. So, I'll, uh, I guess I'll see you in a little bit. Hopefully with tons of meat. Well, that's it for today, guys. Uh, as always, I appreciate you wasting your 30 minutes. But can I even get that back? Your life just got 30 minutes shorter. And uh, as I told you earlier, you could have ended the pain. Just want me to stop doing this shit. So uh, until next time, please hit that subscription button and uh, join me on uh, the channel in case I actually get my thumb out of my ass and uh, stop streaming uh, some gameplay there. Bye bye.